back to Gapy's garden. I just got this package in the mail from Kind Bee Farms. So let's take a look and see what's inside. So it looks like this is their bee loft. And we have some cocoons here. They get these out. So these are leaf cutter bees. So we'll give you a close look. So that's what a leaf cutter bee cocoon looks like. And I have had some of these on my property in the past, and they actually do better here than the mason bees. For some reason, the mason bees don't stick around for very long, and they don't seem to like nesting in my yard. But I do get some leaf cutter bees that I, I've never introduced cocoons, but they just seem to, to find my mason bee houses, and they're the ones that actually nest more in the mason bee houses than the mason bees. So I'm looking forward to adding these cocoons to the yard and see how many we can get. So we've also got a little bee house that came in here as well. So here is the little house and we've got a little hook on the back where we could hang that up. So I'm gonna find a good place to put this. And here are the, the tubes that came with the house. Let's just take this tape off. So they should come out of here so that we can harvest them in the fall, but they're in there pretty tight. So I'm just gonna leave them in there for now. And if they get filled up in the fall, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these inside and keep them safe and put them out next summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a good spot for this house and get this hung up. Here's another look at the cocoons that came with the bee house. These are leaf cutter bees, so they actually use leaves to make their cocoons. That's why they have some pretty green colored cocoons because they're wrapped in leaves. And what we're gonna do is, well, they give you the option of either letting them start hatching inside or just putting them outside. And I'm gonna do the inside route. So I'm gonna keep an eye on these guys. I'll check them several times a day to see if any start hatching. And as soon as they start hatching, I'm gonna bring the box out and put it in the bee, little bee house that I hung up. But first I will obviously take the lid off so that they can, they can get out. Um, but they do say this, this plastic cover here is breathable. I'm not sure how it's breathable, but they say it is. So they should be fine in here until they start hatching. And we'll see how long that takes. what we have here. Our first bee is hatched and he wants to come out. There's actually a few more that I saw on the side of the box. I'm just gonna see if I can open this one-handed. So we've got one there and one there. So it's time to put them outside and into their new home while the rest hatch out. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. 
You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.